She was sitting next to me, laughing, playing with a doll. I thought I wanted to live in that moment forever, but that happiness was short-lived. Dad, are you sure we made the right turn? This fog is pretty scary. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'm pretty sure the ranch isn't far away. Remember that movie we saw? The one with the terrible fog? Just like here. Well, if monsters suddenly appear, first we will ask them for directions. <laughs> you always know how to cheer me up, Dad. I'm really, really glad we're finally getting to spend some time together. <laughs> Honey, I miss you so much too. Your smile is the best thing I have. Look, a man. I hope he can help us. Hi, I'm Max, and we're a little lost. Do you know how to get to Twin Pines Ranch? Twin Pines, you say? Hmm. I don't know this place. In about ten miles, you'll be in Elmwood, but you shouldn't go there. What are you doing out in the middle of the road at this hour? Me? I was on my way home, so I stopped to stretch my legs. You shouldn't go any further. We've been on this road for two hours with the damn fog. We don't have a lot of options. If you want to save your souls. You better turn around right now. Are you okay? What the fuck is this place? I'll figure it out without you. Well, look mate, I warned you. Remember that every choice has consequences. You better help me get on the road instead of teaching me how to live. <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry. I'm just a little stressed out. Okay. Uh, I'm Morgan, by the way. If you need any help, you'll find my hideout in a trailer by the Smoky Hill River. Thanks. If we can't find a place to stay, we'll stop by your place. Good luck. What is he doing here at this hour? I don't know, but I think we're going in the wrong direction. Dolly, don't worry. Daddy won't let us get hurt. Don't worry, Sunshine. We'll spend the night in a town that's not far away. Oh, I'm not worried. It's Dolly who's a little scared. <laughs> Cowardly doll. Dad, is he coming straight towards us? Just turn already. Dad! It was so sudden. All I remember is the pain, the ringing in my ears, and the animal fear. Fear of losing her. Daddy, wake up! What? That wasn't a person. Did you see that? You mean the, the motorcyclist? No, over there, between the trees. I, I don't see anyone. You must have imagined it. Are, are you alright? Yeah, just a bit of a headache, but it scared me. Thank God you're fine. I'll go check on the motorcyclist. Maybe he needs our help. Don't leave me. It'll come back again. Don't worry, sweetheart. If you need anything, just honk and I'll be right back. Deep down. I wish that bastard was dead. He was probably drunk or stoned, and it almost cost us our lives. <laughs> I won't go there on foot. God, why is there so much blood?
Walking there is a bad idea. What the fuck is that? It's obviously not a... What the hell? feel something swarming through my thoughts. Examining. Evaluating. Planning. Daddy, Hurry up. Your child is in danger. Daddy! Why Don't would I go ahead on human. foot? was completely devastated. That man on the road, he was the only thread leading out of this maze of despair. Welcome. Huh. Yeah, looks very welcoming. What a weird advertisement. <clears throat> oh, the driver's charred body is still in the car. Morgan, I found you. My daughter's been kidnapped. Where's the nearest police station? Oh, mate, you should have listened to me. What's wrong with your eyes? And what's this next to you? This creature? Who the hell knows? I don't understand anything, but it, it seems to be on my side. Well, after all, that's not the strangest thing I've seen in weeks. So, so where do I find the police? They've got to help me. Uh, I'm afraid that only you can help yourself. There are no police or military here anymore. What the fuck is going on here? What am I supposed to do now? Have you met the monsters yet? The whole neighborhood is crawling with them now. And they're getting more numerous every day. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. It's a good thing this thing protects me. I'm not a thing. You can call me Elysia. I can tell from Morgan's eyes that he couldn't hear her. She and I were communicating in our minds. And it was terribly disgusting. I can help you, but you won't like what you hear. Tell me how. What do you want me to do? Tell it plainly. I don't have much time. You have the meats of those monsters. Hmm? Put it in the machine in my trailer. In return, you'll get an extract. It will give you the strength to find your daughter. But remember, it's a one-way trip. My mal is missing. I'll do anything. Are you sure this will help? Buddy, there's no other way. Without it, you're not gonna make it out of here alive. I'll explain it to you later if you want.
That liquid was disgusting, but I swallowed it greedily, as if immediately realizing Molly's life depended on it. So, have you already drunk the extract? What are these monsters? Where are the police and all the people? These infernal creatures appeared about a month ago. I don't know where from, but their flesh is a gold mine. They only stayed here for the money. And people started disappearing even earlier. Maybe it has something to do with the cult. A curse or black magic? There are a lot of rumors. If this place is so fucked up, why aren't the authorities doing anything? Where's the army? The whole region is completely isolated. I don't know how you got past the cordons. The authorities are getting their asses in a knot just to keep it quiet. And someone at the top wants the flesh of these monsters. Why? I don't know. What is this extract? Why would I drink it? What the fuck is going on? You haven't felt anything yet? Then just wait a little while and you'll see for yourself. Man, I don't have time for this. What do I do next? How can I find Molly? You need to get used to your new power, buddy. Kill the monsters in the neighborhood, then come back for answers. And by the way, did you notice that the machine in my trailer is different from the others? It's missing the central unit, so I can load it with as much meat as I want. The other machines don't work, but you can try to start them up. But you need resources. I don't like the sounds coming out of them there. It all seemed like a delusional nightmare, but he seemed to have the answers I desperately needed. God, it smells. I don't want to know what's inside.
Electric mesh fence. <laughs> well thought out. Um. Door's locked. Sounds like no one's inside.
using you, I'm about to reveal more than you can imagine. I did it. Are you satisfied? Now are you going to give me answers? Thank you. I feel safer here now. Yeah, go ahead. What the hell are these things you got here? These machines look strange, don't they? Maybe they're some kind of scientist's invention? Or maybe they're from another planet? Who knows? They showed up in the neighborhood a couple of months ago. They appeared overnight, but nobody saw how. But the military immediately put out patrols and guarded each one as if it were the president's ass. When the military disappeared, people started approaching the machines, but they were no longer working. I gathered them up and dragged them back to my place for now. So maybe we can use them to find out what happened? Do you think we can get them running? Well, give it a try and see if you can. The government is keeping a lot of things from us. All I've been assigned to do is harvest them. And this extract? Why would I drink it? I don't know how it works, but it makes people stronger. And the more you drink it, the greater the effect. It's a gift that can turn you into a weapon to get your daughter back. Why are you even helping me? We help each other. You bring me monster meat, and get an extract to make your strength grow. Otherwise, those beasts will just kill you like so many others. I also really want you to find your little girl. Where could my daughter be? Do you know something? Where do I start? The rig or the monsters took her. You don't have much chance of finding her, but she might still be alive. The rig? What are you talking about? Yeah, it's a long story. To tell you the truth, I don't know where to find your daughter. Have you seen Jane yet? She's around here by the trailer park. Oh, maybe she knows something. She's got her own problems right now, though. view if it wasn't for all the fucked up shit that's going on. Jane, we need to talk. I don't fucking owe you anything, honey. And how do you know my name? Morgan said you were in some kind of trouble. So he sent you? You had to let me know in advance, stupid. And yes, Houston, we have a problem. I can't go back to my trailer. Why not? Where is it? Right outside this gate in the parking lot. But there was this huge... Uh, I barely got away. Jane, how about I take care of the monster, 
and you can help me find my daughter. Hmm. Actually, I do have something to tell you. I saw her. Have you seen Molly? Where? Hey, cowboy, slow down. If you get me back to my van, maybe we can talk. You're a little weak, though. Can't somebody just fucking help me out here? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you will ask for forgiveness in confession, dear. But it's really fucked up outside that gate. You should be prepared. So, are you ready to go in and slay the dragon for the beautiful princess? Is this all a joke to you, princess? Well, you don't look like a prince either, you know. Not yet. I'll be back later. <laughs> 